They are, Kate. It's an absolutely massive feat of maritime engineering. The challenge to remove the remains of the luxury cruise liner, the Costa Concordia, from the coastline of the picturesque Italian island of Giglio. It's been 19 months since the luxury cruise liner, the Costa Concordia, ran aground off the west coast of Italy, killing 32 of the people on board. Now, news that the crippled ship will finally be lifted from its side in September. An American and Italian company are working around the clock to prepare the infamous wreckage for its journey from the Tuscan island of Giglio and avoid an environmental disaster. Engineers say it's a naval salvage operation like no other in history. Teams swelled up to 500 plus people with uh, additional welders joining us. So we still have 100 divers in the water every day. We have 55 coated welders on the project 24 hours a day. The plan to remove the Costa Concordia began with steel platforms built under the water. 36 cables will help hoist the ship upright. And a series of enormous flotation devices attached to the ship's sides will help the cruise liner float away to a nearby port. Hopefully all in one piece. Around about the 20th of August, all the grouting and the mattresses should be underneath the belly of the uh, Concordia. What makes the maneuver so risky? Engineers behind the project say they only have one shot to make the deteriorating Costa Concordia float again. Now, if they are successful, if they are able to rotate this ship upright, they'll then go to work repairing the broken side of the ship. The hope is that in eight to ten months, they'll be able to tow the Costa Concordia finally away to a mainland port to be uh, dismantled. Kate and Chris.